Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update brought to you by Pepperstone on Monday the 18th of December 2017. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me on Twitter throughout the day by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, we'll start with overnight changes and price moves to be aware of, but just before we do, please note that the daily update is taking a break over the holidays and will be finishing on the 22nd of December and returning on the 2nd of January 2018. Uh, not too much to uh, to flag on our table of changes, I will just uh, draw your attention to the Australian and the New Zealand dollar, both of which have rallied over the course of the last week. Sentiment there uh, turning positive on, on, on both of those uh, uh, antipodean currencies bitcoin trading a smidgen below nineteen thousand dollars a coin shortly before we recorded this video and the other big mover one that's perhaps slipped under the radar uh, dollar rand with a move of minus 3.9 percent over the prior seven days right what's on the calendar events that may move the markets today not, not the most active calendar but one or two bits to be aware of first of all we've already had new new motor vehicle sales out of Australia for November uh, and a mid-year economic and fiscal outlook report from the country as well. We had Chinese house price index data for November as well that came out at 1.30 GMT and then to come we will have uh, global trade balance data for October out of Italy, uh, a 10-year bond auction uh, in the UK today as well, an interesting barometer perhaps of how people are feeling after the recent uh, Brexit news. And then the, probably the highlight of the day as far as the data is concerned, CPI data for November, month on month and year on year figures out of the whole Eurozone. And that's followed by the Bundesbank's monthly report on the state of the German economy. And at 11 o'clock we'll have CBI industrial trends data and orders. And that's uh, uh, so 11 o'clock and the data is for GBP sterling. All right. Uh, to finish the afternoon off then we'll have uh, Canadian portfolio investment data, NHAB housing index uh, data at 1500 and a three month and six month bill auction at half past four this afternoon. And if you're still in the market tonight at 9pm you can feast your eyes on the Westpac consumer survey for the fourth quarter in New Zealand. Right, breaking news and comment that's caught my eye over the weekend and this morning. First of all then, Chinese house price data uh, slowed to its lowest level for 21 months in November. Um, still growing uh, house price prices in China, I should say, but the rate of uh, improvement is declining. Japanese exports posted a 12th month of growth in a row uh, during November, allowing the country to maintain a trade surplus despite uh, uh, a, a boom in, it, in imports as well. Moving to uh, the Americas, the controversial right-wing billionaire Sebastian Piñera is the winner in Chile's presidential election. And it'll be interesting to see what that means for the country. Uh, the UN Security Council uh, is to vote on a proposal asking the US to withdraw its recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. And the European Union is to launch a tax investigation into one of the world's biggest retailers, IKEA, amid claims that it's used loopholes to minimise its tax bills between 2009 and 2014. All right, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day. I think about this. Uh, we might assume that life and economic conditions have improved or will improve over time with advances in technology, medicine, longevity, etc., but Pew Research has found that in many countries, that's not what the public really thinks. And the table here shows uh, what people think when I ask the question, has life improved uh, over the last 50 years? Worth having a look into that and drill down uh, to the data. Overall, the, the answer is yes, but uh, there are some interesting deviations from that number. Right, please take a moment to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange and margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks, then please do contact your Peverstone account representative. Thank you for your time.